What's the deal, YouTube? It is your boy, c KJ, and I'm coming at y'all with another banger today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over what to do after you get your fresh cut, man. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to go like, comment, and subscribe. All right, like I said, this is gonna be what to do after your fresh cut. So as y'all should know, uh, hopefully you guys know this, before you get your cut, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and hit a washing style. You don't wanna go to the barber shop or start yourself cut with dirty hair, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that many products in it. Um, I hear people say they add a light oil before, but me personally, I just want my hair completely clean before the cut, you know what I'm saying? No products, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go work out before the cut, nothing like that. So no sweat or no anything, just completely clean, you know, dry hair. And then right before your cut, you of course want to comb your hair out so you can get a pretty even cut. Now. Um, it's a difference between going with the grain and against the grain. I did a whole uh, two-part self-cut series, so make sure to go check that out if you want to learn more about self-cutting, especially for waves, because I've been doing this for a while. I've been self-cutting for like over a year for sure. I've been self-cutting for over a year, so with the experience of me self-cutting over a year, I do have you know, a decent amount of knowledge. Like I said, I got the two-part series, so make sure to go check that out. So like I said, against the grain, with the grain. Um, I just got the cut today. I got a three guard against the grain. A 1.5 with the grain is not looking like that right now. It's a little bit thicker. So I'll say it's in between like a three and a half and a three against the grain. So um, that's lower than two, but over a 1.5 with the grain. All right, the numbers kind of get confusing, but basically you just double it. So against the grain, uh, you know, if you get a four with the grain, that's like an eight against the grain. If you get a you get like a five against the grain, that'll be a two and a half with the grain, you know what I'm saying? So that's basically how it adds up. And like I said, I got the three, and that's a pretty low cut for my hair texture, but I'm just about to put in this work. You know, I cut the dye out, so cause I wanted my hair back black. But what you wanna do, especially if you get a low haircut, is you wanna, you don't wanna exactly wash your hair right after. You wanna take you a, a rag, like a microfiber towel, and uh, what you wanna do is you wanna dampen it, not wet it, but you wanna dampen, you know, wring it out, and what I do is I go with the grain with my pattern just to get, you know, the loose hairs off for the most part. And then I hear people saying they can they soft brush um, out the hairs. I think that the towel does a real, real good job. You know, it might be some, a little bit more hair, but I think the damp towel does a really, really good job. So you're gonna take a damp towel, wet it and apply it with the grain. And then after that, you know, you can get your whole session in, but I'm about to get a full brush session in. Okay, I already did the wet, wet towel, so, um, I'm gonna show y'all, you wanna use a light product. I'm only gonna be using a little bit of moisturizer and a little bit of butter. And of course, I'm gonna definitely be using my own products, you feel me? I'm gonna be using the all new C-Made Double Butter and my C-Made Moisturizer. This is the lemon scent. Also, since this is a, such a low cut, um, you're definitely not gonna need as much products. You know, once you get into more woofing stages and you know it's woofing season, it's getting pretty cold. So you're gonna have to up your products. But right now I'm just gonna use like a, not, maybe not even a dime size amount of both of them because you don't need that much products because you don't have that much hair. And I'm gonna be going from medium hard on the way down. I feel like my hair can handle like a medium firm type of brush. Not necessarily medium hard, but like a medium firm. It's gonna be a full session. I'm sure you wanna move the hairs. So I hear, you know, we were saying they can use harder brushes on fresh cuts. And the key to doing that is you don't wanna press the brush down. You don't wanna let it glide. The bristles are gonna get down to your scalp because you just got a cut, but you don't wanna be pressing down into your scalp because that can cause scalp damage, you know, bleeding, all types of crazy stuff. You know, we don't want that to happen. We do wanna make progress. You know what I mean? This is just waves. But like I said, I'm about to get my full session in. So, you know, if you brushing today, brush with me. I appreciate all y'all for clicking on the video, but let's get straight into the brush session.
Thank you.